Hello everybody, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting back again and I would like to share with you how you can make a magnetic paper clip also shaker, shaker magnetic paper clip and it's very easy, believe me here is just few types uh, I made uh, to show you that you can make some vintage style, shabby chic style or just simple for your planners and it's really very easy and it will hold loads of pages together if you will using uh, good magnets it will hold loads of lots of page, uh, papers together uh, for shaker effect I use those canpool rings and I will try to show you how I made it I will try to show you probably on one uh, one magnetic clip and other stuff you can uh, you will I believe you will realize <coughs> yourself how to make it and if you've got only one magnet don't be sad you still can do uh, your magnetic paper clip just grab your magnet and go around if in your in your house and I believe you will find a hundred things which are magnetic which you can use like that opposite side of your magnetic side so as you can see all this it's magnetic it's all <laughs> what you can use <laughs> for your for your paper clip and I will try to show you with that shaking effect you need to take your uh, your can ring and uh, there are two two different two different types of those uh, can pull rings there are magnetic and non-magnetic uh, non-magnetic ah, here is already magnet but not non-magnetic can pull rings they are mostly on drinks on on drink cans they are made out of aluminium it's like this one it's not it's not magnetic on food cans uh, like is human food or pet food they are made out of metal and they are magnetic so you will need only one magnet with those, with those you will need one or two magnets, it depends and if you will do not use those can rings I will show you how you can save your magnets and how, how you can do it just with, with one magnet so we're gonna try to make that shaker cut take your uh, can ring, take piece of acetate it can be clear or stamped got here I've got here one <laughs> very light stamped so take your can pull ring put your glue on that smooth side on this nice beautiful side uh, put your glue on it all over if you are using glue like this uhu glue let it let it dry for a few seconds to make that top coat that uh, sticky top coat of that glue and then put it to your piece of, piece of acetate where you want it maybe like here and let it dry let it dry properly to make sure that it will hold together when it's dry take your scissors and fussy cut out your can pull ring all around like this make sure you are doing it nicely and carefully that all that piece of acetate will still holding all that can pull ring now take some cardstock some good quality cardstock if you don't have good quality cardstock if you've got just some um, lightweight cardstock uh, I would recommend to use on one side uh, some plastic uh, washi tape I mean something I mean something like this those they will hold uh, they will make that card stronger and it will you you will be sure that uh, those sides will not rip off so take your uh, piece of cardstock fold it in size Fold it in size of your can pull ring. It's 
here fold it put your can pouring on it and make sure that one of side it depends if you wanna have it uh, closing like this or like this to make uh, those sides together here so you will here do not fussy cut out here or maybe you wanna close it like this so do not fussy cut out this folding just put your can pouring on it and fussy cut out all around make sure that the top that fold will hold together fussy cut out your piece of card around your can pouring you can first draw that shape of can pouring and then fussy cut out without holding that can pouring on on your card fussy cut out like this so you will end up with something like this now you can uh, distress your edges or stamp your image i'm gonna stamp it stamp a little bit, little bit this this one where is my ink I'm gonna stamp it a little bit just slightly to make some pattern maybe like this yes I like that it's very very light now take uh, some kind of sequins pieces or uh, some some uh, beads do not place there anything magnetic like i did <laughs> because it will be not shaken place your pieces inside of your can pouring maybe i can distress this a little bit And remember I am working with that magnetic piece I'm working now with that magnetic piece so I've got a little bit easy work take your glue put your glue all around be very careful uh, I think I've got stuck my glue here sorry sorry for that put your glue Oops, all around I will show you uh, 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 uh. if you've got the glue like I've got now that it's leaking so heavily oops la. to avoid that you will have there so many glue just spread it with something use some of your tools and spread it nicely and now it's time for waiting a little bit uh, you can put your paper right now on your can pouring but with this glue uh, I've got my experiences that it's good to wait a little bit not too long but a little bit and then any kind of surfaces will will be glued down so fast Maybe I am still a little bit early with that gluing. Press it down and let it dry. Before you will do that other side, let it dry. I will show you faster. <laughs> it will be probably open later, but I will show you. When it's dry, uh, leave it closer cl closed closed <laughs> take your magnet and drop it down and it will show you where where you can put your magnet i think best way i can put my magnet it's somewhere here and now you need to cover this magnet with some embellishment uh, here i used this picture from tim holtz collection i decorated with those corners uh, between this card 
I placed a piece of fabric and I glued on that fabric this one and I glue it on the top so you can decorate it and when it's dry you've got your paper clip with this this is very easy paper clip I made this this piece with that hole <laughs> Uh, it was labeled from some drink. I don't remember which kind of drink. Uh, I'm guessing it was wine <laughs> Because here are those grapes. So I'm guessing it was wine. Uh, I saved that and I use it now like uh, paper paper clip magnetic paper clip. Ah, my magnet just dropped down because I did it just a few minutes ago So it's not dry yet. I Have to oops. I have to let it dry. So I placed one magnet here and other, uh, then I fussy cut out piece of cardstock. I glue it to this end. I've got already one magnet here, so I drop. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I swap that. <gasps> Turn it around. <laughs> Turn it around. <laughs> then I dropped my magnet. It was stuck on that magnet from the bottom. I glue that magnet on that place and I cover it with this label. Uh, so it's magnetic paper clip for planners because you you can mark with this uh, your notes anything you need to be uh, seen like uh, <coughs> like important with this uh, this is not magnetic canpool ring uh, I placed this canpool ring on cardstock I fussy cut out that shape of that canpool ring then I placed then I glued that canpool ring on piece of cardstock. In this hole I placed my magnet. Then I decorated with that ball and with this bead. I turn it over on that other half of paper. I didn't have to place an another magnet because this filigree it's magnetic. It's what I told you. If you will have some magnetic material, something for your opposite side of magnet, you don't have to use two magnets. If you don't have some magnetic piece, some magnetic opposite side, you will probably, no, not probably, you will have to use magnet on this paper, on this other half of your paper. And make it same, just fold that, uh, your basic paper, drop your magnet, it will automatically catch up that magnet from opposite side and cover that magnet with some embellishment. Oh my god, oh, my explanation is horrible. I hope oops, you understood. <laughs> and believe me, if you will grab your magnet, even if you've got only one magnet, you will find something magnetic in your house. Like this one, look at this. Maybe your mommy <laughs> have sewing machine. Your daddy have your garage full of <laughs> things. <laughs> Maybe in your clocks. Uh, those batteries <laughs> just go with your magnet through to your house even those uh, bottle cups they are magnetic and those will be brilliant like magnetic paper clip can you imagine that to embellish that some shabby chic or some grungy make some mixed media and you will have amazing paper clip so this is my sharing for today I hope it was understandable uh, when you will make, just one small note, when you will make a uh, paper clip with different types of shapes. Uh, I will do it now. I've got this heart and from that other, other side I would like to have this one. So I took a piece of cardstock. I fold it from this side. I place that card, uh, that heart where I will probably wanted to glue it down so still I've got large space for my magnet I draw around that shape of my heart now I will fussy cut out I will glue one magnet here then I will glue this this fussy cut out side on my heart then I will flip it over this is will be same here I will drop my magnet glue that magnet down and then I will glue it over it this card and it will make my uh, magnetic paper clip with those two different shapes <sighs> this is my sharing for today I hope it was understandable <laughs> I hope 
I, I, I really hope. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your interest, for all amazing comments. Grab your magnet and go to, <laughs> go to find your magnetic pieces. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely, lovely Sunday. Bye.